Chapter six of Child's New Storybook. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Dr. Heather and By in Carrollton, Georgia, in October two thousand and eight. A Child's New Storybook or Tales and Dialogues for Little Folks. I'll watch thy dawn of joys and mould thy little hearts to duty. I'll teach thee truths as I behold thy faculties, like flowers unfold, in intellectual beauty. CHAPTER Six: THE PET ROBIN My brother Frederick has a robin, and he calls him a dear little pet. He sings so sweetly. Oh, you cannot think how well he knows Freddy. You should see him early in the morning, when we first come downstairs, or at any time when we come in from a walk how he runs to one corner of his cage to look at us, and when Fred whistles and says, My beauty, my fine fellow, he stands up so straight to listen to his kind little master's voice, and then begins jumping and hopping from one end of the cage to the other, just as I have seen happy little children jump and hop about in their sports. Some time ago he was ill, and we were sadly afraid he would die. He used to sit from day to day with ruffled feathers and drooping wings, his food was left untasted, and his pleasant voice was seldom heard. But in two or three weeks he began to grow better, and to eat his food as usual, and to pick amongst the green grass of the little sod we had placed in his cage. Oh, how happy we were then, especially Frederick, who took care of him and watched over him with the greatest love and tenderness. Indeed, he was well repaid for his care and anxiety, when his little pet once more began to jump about as blithely as ever. And now, you see, he is quite well, and we treasure his little songs more than ever we did before, for we never knew how sweet they were, until we were deprived of them. And thus it is, dear children, with many blessings we possess. They become so common to us, that we cease to be thankful for them, and know not their value until they are taken away. We forget who is the author and giver of all things. We forget that it is through the mercy and loving-kindness of God that we receive food and clothing, and every blessing we possess. End of chapter 6 End of A Child's New Storybook, or Tales and Dialogues for Little Folks, 